Good morning. Our entrance hymn today is Come to Me, number 460, and our cantor is Kathy. Come to Me, number 460. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And today our mother church celebrates the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. You know, Mount Carmel is located in the north of the Israel and uh, the other a group of uh, hermits in the 12th century started come to um, protection of uh, our blessed mother and uh, they regarded her as a patron, patroness. So under her, there were a lot of intercession and have been answered a lot of miracles has uh, happened. So we come to her too today, our Lady of Mount Carmel, entrust ourselves and the world to her, especially ask her intercession. And uh, may God have mercy on the world, and especially have mercy on those who suffer in this pandemic. So let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid. We pray, O oh Lord, so that the fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title, you are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth, reads and cries out in her pain, so were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceived and wreathed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. From the heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You all arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her, for her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, from heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. From, from heaven, heaven the Lord, Lord looks down, down the on the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened 
and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Often, after a long day or long week, and some people will tell, tell you, find some rest, or you yourself want to find some rest, and uh, so that you can refresh and re rejuvenate it. But uh, nowadays, in the modern world, it's really hard to find rest after a long weekend. And you go, go back to your work on Monday, you find, you find yourself uh, maybe even more tired than other days because you couldn't find rest um, on Sundays too. So, and sometimes, well, indeed, we can sleep, but after woke up, we feel more tired because uh, rest is not just uh, physically, and also involves more uh, mental and spiritually, especially if we, our heart carries a heavy, bur heavy burden and uh, it's not easy to find rest in this world. That's why you know, God invites us uh, to find rest in himself. And only with God's help, then we can truly find the true rest. Mm, that's why in the very beginning, after God created the world, after created each of us, He gave us a commandment. It's not just an invitation. He gave us a commandment to, uh, to ob uh, observe the Sabbath. So observa observation of Sabbath is not just doing, not doing the work. And of course, that's part of understanding that Jewish ha uh, Jews has. Uh, when they, on the Sabbath, they do not do anything. But the uh, uh, well, original purpose of the Sabbath is to really rest in God. And to, what does it mean? What, what does it mean by saying resting in God? Of course, that is uh, pray to Him and offer our prayers and worship. That is the true rest. That's the true meaning of the rest. So, we hear in today's gospel, Jesus invites us, and uh, all though he invites, he says, come to me, all who are labor and are burdened, I will give you rest. So indeed, we in this uh, special time pandemic, and uh, a lot of, of, of us may be doing less work uh, because uh, uh, we we uh, not quite involved in the uh, physical world to work, but uh, we find uh, sometimes it's more restless, and uh, we find ourselves uh, mentally and uh, spiritually tired, and this has been a long time. So how can we rest? Uh, how can we really uh, refresh from this uh, pandemic? Huh? And the only way that is come to the Lord and ref get a refreshment in himself. So by coming to him, Jesus invites us to come to him. He really invites us to pray, to pray more and worship God more. Only in that way that we can find true rest. So we hear in today's gospel, Jesus says, uh, and take my yoke upon you and learn from me. He invites us to come to Him. Then, actually, when we come into Him, then the yoke that we carry and the burden that we shoulder upon our shoulder, shoulder it's not a, no longer it's our yoke. It's no longer our burden. Then Jesus says, it's my yoke and my burden you carry. So there's an exchange in our prayer, exchange 
in our rest in Jesus Christ. So when we come to Him, carry our burdens, and hand it to Him by totally trusting Him and totally handed everything into His hand, then our burden, our yoke, become His yoke, and He will carry for each of us. For Jesus says, "My yoke is easy, and my burden light." Only then oh, we can find true rest. So we come to the Eucharist, and here that exchange happens. Here we offer sacrifices, and sacrifice not only our Lord Himself, but、uh, our burdens, our yoke, and、uh, in, on this altar we hand it back to the Lord. Then, when the Lord give us give us back, and He will carry with each of us, then we truly fight the yoke. It's easy, my bur、uh, the the burden is light. So let us、uh, do that、uh, in this、uh, worship, in this change of sacrifices. May we find true rest in Jesus Christ. Let us stand and、uh, offer our prayers to our loving God. We pray for our church. May we continue inspired by the Word of God and、uh, be the mediator of the good news to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And、um, we pray that.、Uh, Those people who are burdened and、uh, find、uh, life worrisome, may they find rest、uh, by coming to our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And、uh, we pray for increase of vocations, and may more young people respond to God's call generously to follow Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And、uh, we pray for the sick, and the abandoned, the homeless on the street. May they find God's consolation in others,、uh, reaching out, helping them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And、uh, we also pray for all those、um, who have died in the pandemic. Now we also specially pray for Gregory Juven Guevara, and、uh, we pray for his soul. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this mass in Thanksgiving、um, for Camille. Del Rosario, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today, a young man in our parish, Marvin Jackson, celebrated his birthday, and、uh, we pray for God's blessing upon him, especially upon his、uh, um, college life as he started a new chapter of his life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal prayers. For the prayers held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grace, loving God, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother and the Mediator of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you hear our prayer and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, for all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, for all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to the Lord Almighty God. May the Lord, Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayer of your people with the sacrificial offerings that are through the intercession of blessed Mary, the mother of your son. No petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise bless and glorify your name as we commemorate our blessed Virgin Mother. For by overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty Dominions adore and power tremble before you. Heaven at the virtue of the heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim you your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin, and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you.